Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome to Everyday Faith Day 13. Hope y'all are doing awesome today. And it's super short and super sweet today, the devotion. It's a quote by Stephen King and it says this, you can, you should, and if you're brave enough to start, you will. You can, you should, and if you're brave enough to start, you will. I want to focus on one word here. I want to focus on if. I want to focus on the if word, two letter word here that means so much. Um, one, of my, one of my favorite books is a book by, called If by Mark Batterson. If you haven't read it, you should read it. And the premise of the book is, what if we turned our if only regrets, if only I would have, if only I could have, if only I did this, into God's what if possibilities. And I don't want to give the book up, but it's an incredible book. But um, did you know that there are 1,784 reference, uh, ifs in the Bible? 1,784 times if is used in the Bible. And I believe the most powerful if in the Bible is this. If God is for us, who can be against us? If God is for us, who can be against us? If God has empowered you to do certain things, who can be against you? If God has given you a gift, a talent. Who's going to be against you? And it doesn't matter because people will be. There will be people that are against you. There will be haters. There will be doubters. There will be no naysayers. But if God's for us, who cares? He is on our side every single day in every single way. So my challenge to you guys, what is that thing you've been putting off because it just isn't the right time? Or, or what is that thing that you haven't done because uh, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't the right moment in your life, it wasn't the right time for you to pursue something? What are these if-only things that you have? Well, if only I had a little bit more money, or if only I had a little bit more time, if only, if only, if only, if only. What if you replace that, those if-only regrets? Don't, don't go forward having these if-only regrets. Act on them as if they're God's what if possibilities. Go after them, you're empowered. If God's for us, who can be against us? So that's my challenge to you guys. Turn your if only regrets into what if possibilities uh, because if he's for you, who can be against you? And it doesn't matter who is against you because he's for you. It may not always be easy, it may be scary, it may be a sacrifice, but again, if he's for us, who can be against us? So that's my takeaway from that quote today. Y'all may think something completely different, and that's okay. Um, but that's where I went with it. So guys, be blessed. Have an incredible day. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.